Okay. Hello, my wonderful friends. I thought I would chat with y'all while I get ready for the day. Um, I've taken a shower, eaten breakfast, taken my medicine. Now I'm going to get presentable in the face department and then hopefully I will be able to go to my college town to do some things. So I thought I'd maybe take y'all through what I do with my like daily makeup routine. I have been trying to just look more presentable in my day-to-day -day life now. Normally I just don't wear any makeup. <laughs> and um go about my day but i feel like i feel like better about myself and more confident in myself if i wear just a little bit every day i barely put any on my makeup routine for my everyday look is very 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 different than what i look like in my regular sit down booktube videos i don't put on foundation every day because um foundation feels gross on the skin and so i only wear foundation mainly for like special events or um videos um, because I cannot stand wearing foundation for a long period of time. So I just get some concealer. This is the NYX in like the lightest shade I could find probably. NYX. Um, cause I am a white snowman. Okay, so I did my under eye and then I have some blemishes to cover up. And then I always do a little ang arrow right here from avatar you do an ang arrow right there and then you do down the nose and then that's where you put concealer and then you tap that in i am not that big of a makeup person um i love doing my makeup it's so much fun um especially for videos that's the one thing i really like about making like youtube videos of course the dog is crying Dude, I don't remember what I was saying. Uh, the dog is crying. Um, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Actually, fun fact, like when I learned how to do makeup in um, middle school, my mom let me start wearing makeup in middle school. I think around like seventh grade because that's when I started having makeup in my yearbook photos. <laughs> my mom doesn't know a lot about makeup either and so my mom was the person who taught me how to wear makeup she did not know foundation was a thing my mom has always had very clear skin very tan skin and she has not had to struggle with having to cover up blemishes and stuff like that and she didn't know that foundation was like a thing that people wore <laughs> um and so i did not wear foundation until I think last year was the first time I ever put foundation on my face. 21 years old. First time ever putting foundation on my face. Because I just like didn't know that it was a thing and I thought that I didn't need it. Like when I found out what foundation was, I think I found out like around end of high school. Like my acne had mostly cleared up by then. And I was like, oh, you know what? I don't need it. And then um, I tried it when I went to Ulta one day. I just bought one on a whim. Like a, not a full coverage, like a sheer just kind of like almost like a moisturizer coverage. Like it changed the game because I found out I also have a really red face. <laughs> so yeah, also sorry for the lighting, it's really bad in here. So I didn't wear foundation ever up until last year. And now I swear by it in YouTube videos at least. I can't wear it daily, like it's just too freaking much it feels like i don't know like a million things are clogging my pores and it just feels disgusting okay so that's some concealer i can put that away and then i put on my eyebrows i use the benefit gimme brow the mini little one they tried to give me like the reddest shade that they could find to match my hair at ulta at least they couldn't find a eyebrow pencil that matched my copper hair so <laughs> so i just go like this, this is literally all I do. Eyebrows are like the thing that I probably care the least about. I know that people take a lot of time and effort into making their eyebrows look good. I just can't be bothered with it because I don't know how to do it and I don't have the energy to do it. And so I just fill them in with this thingy my bopper. I know that people like have like a pencil they use or something when I just use a spoolie. 
so yeah and <laughs> look how dark it is compared to my natural like here or down just blonde hair <laughs> you can barely see it my sister is um like a strawberry blonde and so um she gets it from our dad both my dad and my sister have straight up blonde see-through eyebrows and so you can you can't see them you can't it looks like my dad just has no eyebrows but my sister does not like that and for many many years she goes and gets them dyed because she can't be bothered with doing her eyebrows every day and filling them in every day making them darker this one kind of looks a little darker but maybe it's just the lighting can you there you go then i put on mascara and this one is the benefit roller lash i got a mini pack for free from benefit um because i bought their foundation and they were like oh here's a free set of mascara and so this one is my favorite so far normal people like probably put on mascara on their bottom lashes too I can't do that because I have really deep set eyes and in like five seconds there will be a black line underneath my eyeballs. You'll maybe see that a lot in the YouTube videos I do um, because sometimes I feel like putting on my bottom and sometimes I don't and then I always curse myself if I do while I'm editing because all you can see is a black line underneath my eyeballs. Oh see I already got some on top. You might also see top lines on videos too because mascara just gets on top as well. Um, just my luck. Oh, I forgot to tell you what this is. I have literally no idea what brand this is. Um, but I am obsessed with these like crayon ones. I think this might be Neutrogena. I don't know, but I'm obsessed with this color. This is what I look like. Yep, can't cover this one up. This one was the one under my nose I was complaining about yesterday, so. Yeah, then we're gonna take the towel out. Now this is the hard part for me. I can't stand my natural hair, like at all. I can't stand it. My natural hair is stick freaking straight, which is weird because my mom's hair is curly, my dad's hair is curly. I got, my, and my sister got my grandma's hair, which is stick freaking straight. That's why I like to curl it a lot in YouTube videos and everything. But it is bad for your hair to have it curled or have heat on it every day, obviously. And so, um, that's why, like, if you saw my Instagram stories, I've been trying to find other methods <laughs> other than heat to, like, have my hair look curly every day. And normally what I do is on the counter here, there are, like, a million hair ties. Like, here are all these hair ties. is because uh, normally I take my shower um, before bed. That's when I normally shower, but um, I just forgot to take one last night, so I took one this morning. What I do is I have really, really thick hair, like, ponytail is like this thick of hair. I end up slitting my hair into like seven different sections and braid it. I'll have seven different braids on my head and I'm sleep in that and then I'll wake up and take them out and it'll look crimped um kind of or just wavy and so I really like that method. I also have a crimper. If you see my hair crimped in like sit down booktube videos um like really pretty crimped that's me using my crimper. Uh, that's not me <laughs> um, sleeping in braids. Sleeping in braids looks like the first day of Vlogmas. Like that's what the wave in that one was. Um, but no, this is my natural hair, this straight, and I can't stand it. So I'm just gonna brush it out. And I guess I'm just gonna have to keep it like this because I have no other option, but I just don't like my straight hair. <laughs> because like, look, it's just flat, flat. Gross. Anyway, this is what I look like. I'm going to hopefully get in my mom's car and go drive to my college town and do some things. So I'll chat with you later. Hello. Okay, so I ended up driving to my college town today. And so I'm currently in my apartment and I got a package in the mail. I think this is from Keely. Um, she like messaged me about it. So this is stuff. Oh my gosh, Keely! Oh my gosh, I saw what it is. <gasps> yeah, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, she says I've been catching up on your videos. Wanted to get you something 
I know you love this series and this is my favorite book out of all of them. Love you from Keely. Oh, Keely, thank you. She got me the new version of Cress. This is my favorite one in the series and I've been dying to get these covers. Like, like how beautiful that is. Oh my word. Thank you so much, Keely. Oh my gosh. It even has like... <gasps> Yo. Okay, it has a step back. <laughs> Do you even see that? <gasps> Y'all, this is like one of my ultimate OTPs. This is like everything to me. Thank you so much, Keely. I am in love. Are you serious? Look at this. Look at how beautiful this is. This is my favorite in the series. I currently, I actually just reread this like last month or the month before that. Oh my word. Thank you so stinking much, Keely. I love you. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna save the little note in the book. Awesome, thank you. Oh my gosh, I love this book. I love you too. I'm going to pack up some things that I need from here and then I'm going to go to a couple places. I'm gonna to go to the dollar store and then I'm gonna to go to the UPS store and then I'm gonna to go to the craft store <laughs> and then possibly pick up something to eat. And I think that's it. I'm gonna go do all those things because I have to be home soon because it turns dark early now and I don't like driving in the dark. So I gotta get this stuff, done. Okay, I just sent out my secret Santa gift. Oh my word, I didn't know how expensive shipping is. And it was so expensive to ship this freaking box because the person I am sending it to apparently lives in like not the drop off area of a UPS truck. And so I have to pay more money. Oh, sorry, I have to pay more money. <laughs> So we can get to them, but I shipped it. It's good. We're good to go now So there you go Good morning everybody. This is my look for today. I'll show you my outfit This is what it is um, I got this sweater at um I think like TJ Maxx or something. TJ Maxx is my life. So thought it was really cute, had to buy it. So my mom and I are going to like a, like a festival or something in our new little small town. So that'll be very interesting. She says it's kind of like a farmer's market. I don't know. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, this is gonna be like our first time out in public in this town. I'm going to be wearing a mask. My town, I think, is so tiny and small that like they don't have rules about masks right now which i don't know how i feel about that but my mom and i are gonna be social distancing so i'm just obsessed with these little trees on here <laughs> uh, last night i ended up listening to a lot of fire and his kiss by ruby dixon and i think i only have like an hour and 45 minutes left um and i'm really loving it um, I don't like it as much as the first one, which I think is the minority here. Um, I feel like on Goodreads, everybody likes the second one more than the first one, which I don't, I don't, I don't. The whole thing at the beginning with like the consent thing really bugs me. I can't give it higher than a three, probably. I think that's what happened last time I read it too. Today, I will hopefully finish Blitzen's Faded Mate because I've only read like 10% of it, but I think it's gonna be really funny. I guess I'll just show you what I do throughout the day at this little festival. Sorry if the camera's a little shaky. Um, I don't have my tripod with me. I'm too lazy to go get it. <laughs> so I just wanted to let y'all know that my mom and I went to the like market today or whatever. It's actually just kind of like a pop-up shop where I think maybe once a month, people come and can pop up tents and can sell their products, which is, really cool there's a bunch of different tents and everything i only bought one thing <laughs> i wanted to like video it and everything but like um uh like an hour into it like we went and saw some friends and then walked around and then i noticed a guy was following us and so um we had to stand in a booth until the booth owner like we think this guy's following us and this guy just stood outside the booth waiting for us to leave um, for a very long time and we just stood in that booth waiting for him to leave and um, he finally left but he was definitely following us and we were like walking towards like a more 
secluded area where there weren't a lot of people, so that's why, like, I told my mom that I thought someone was following us. Um, turns out he was, so, uh, kind of, like, put a damper on my mood, but I bought, um, something from that shop because I wanted to thank them because that was really nice of them to, like, like, stand outside the tent and watch him, and so I bought the, a sticker. I'll show y'all later. Hopefully I will remember to show you, um, but I bought this, like, really pretty sticker I'm gonna put on my laptop. Um, that, that was really cute. Um, so, that... <laughs> That kind of put, like, a damper on my mood. I know it shouldn't, but, like, this man was clearly following us, and I don't know. I think it's because my purse looks expensive. I don't know, honestly, but it's whatever. I really want to find some ornaments. My mom collects, um, like, ornaments that are sea-related, that relate to the sea. Um, like starfish and fish and just like amazing sea ornaments. We're, we're an ornament collector family. We collect so many ornaments. We have so many ornaments. We jam pack our Christmas tree every single year with ornaments and we're not able to put all of them on there still. Like you see ornament more than tree and I absolutely love that. I normally decorate the Christmas tree um, because a lot of people are busy and so I normally do it because it's like my favorite thing to do. Um, I normally decorate it on Thanksgiving, but we like just moved into the house on Thanksgiving. So my parents told me that they could put up the tree in a couple of days. So hopefully they do. But in the meantime, my mom really likes to have her um, sea ornaments, um, her collection of them, um, hung on our dining room chandelier. And so they just installed the chandelier yesterday. So I'm going to try and find those ornaments and put them up for her because they're really pretty. Also, I got her two new ones for Christmas, so I'll show those to y'all whenever I wrap presents, Gonna because I'm gonna do a little wrapping of presents um, day uh, vlog whenever that comes up, but I got her two new ones, and they are so pretty. I'm so excited for her to see them. You Can, he can you hear the dog chewing? I'm so sorry, he found a bone. I'm gonna go find some ornaments, hopefully I can find them. Okay, so this is our Christmas attic, I think. I don't know, we just moved all this stuff, so. Okay, I know it's none of these. None of those. At least my senior year mom. <laughs> okay. How are we gonna do this? Um, it's in a little box. So. Okay, I don't know if I feel safe doing this, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> okay, it's none of those. Oh, it's this one. It is. This box, because you see, it says under the sea. I always know the box. Because it says that. Oh, I'm out of breath. See, look, you can see a little seahorse. for the day so I ended up finishing that chandelier and it looked really pretty and I'm really excited we have even more ornaments to hang on it but my mom is trying to find the glitter 
string that you saw me put on there with all the ornaments um because some of them don't have them so you have to find that before we hang all the other ones I and mean, we have like some turtles we want to put on there and stuff like that and then we watched elf tonight we watched elf while we ate dinner and i edited some of this vlog and i love that movie so much and it's like such the epitome of a christmas movie i love it then i finished fire in his kiss by ruby dixon i ended up giving it three stars i really enjoyed this one except i can't give it more than a three star because the consent thing at the beginning just really looked a bad taste in my mouth and then i started fire in his embrace by ruby dixon and this one is another dragon shifter book obviously this one is about emma and she's kind of been like taken in by these nomads in this apocalyptic earth and um they ended up capturing a dragon she's trying to help the dragon escape so that's the main premise of that story and so while listening to both audiobooks finishing one and starting another i was working on christmas presents for my booktube friends i just finished one and that will be sent in the mail tomorrow and hopefully i can get another one done before i go to bed and before bed i'm going to finish blitzen's faded mate i think that's the title of it i'm going to be finishing it i want to know what happens <laughs> it's really funny <laughs> but it's also very insta lovey and just like very unrealistic but i'm having a ball reading it you know so um i'm going to end the vlog here thank y'all so so much for watching i'll see y'all soon in tomorrow's vlog bye y'all mm -hmm.